A shield-shaped mirror and a seven-foot sword were just unearthed from a 4th-century Japanese burial mound. The items were discovered at the Tomio Marayama burial mound in Nara Prefecture, and are believed to have served the ceremonial purpose of protecting the dead from evil spirits. While excavating a 4th-century tomb in Japan's Nara Prefecture, a team of researchers made some unprecedented and exciting new discoveries. A massive, seven-foot deco iron sword and a magical bronze mirror shaped like a shield. As the Japan Times reports, both items were found at the Tomio Marayama burial mound, which dates to the coffin period, circa 300 to 538 CE. They were unearthed last November during an archaeological dig, and researchers are now saying they can be classified as national treasures. The seven-foot sword is the largest of its kind found in Japan, and the shield-shaped mirror is the first ever discovered in the country. Each was buried in clay above the body of the deceased. These discoveries indicate that the technology of the coffin period are beyond what had been imagined, said Kasaku Akabayashi, deputy director for the Archaeological Institute of Kashihara. They are masterpieces in metalwork from that period. That period, the coffin period, is in fact named for the coffin tomb mounds built for members of Japan's ruling class. The Tomio Marayama burial mound is the largest in Japan, believed to have belonged to members of the Japanese ruling class during the late 4th century. More than 80 deco swords have been discovered throughout Japan in the past, but this recent find happens to be the largest known example of such a weapon. It is characterized by its wavy, snake-like shape from which its name is derived. These swords were often used as burial goods, and mirrors and shields were considered to protect the dead from evil spirits. According to Kyoto News, it's possible that Deco swords were buried with the deceased to be used as weapons against those very same spirits with their large size meant to enhance their power. As Nara University professor of archaeology Nahiro Toyoshima explained, the burial chamber where the sword and mirror were found likely belonged to someone involved in military and ritualistic matters. Riku Muris, a member of the excavation team responsible for the discoveries, also expressed that the team was initially so stunned by the sword size that they thought it may have been several swords. They also didn't realize, at first, that they had found a mirror, instead believing that the artifact was a unique bronze plate. It was my dream to dig up a mirror, he said. Who knew that it would be something so incredible? The excavation site was open to the public on January 28th and 29th, but the sword and mirror are currently undergoing restoration and have not yet been made available for public viewing.